Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rock and never wear. Booty, booty. We are back with another video as far as for the dosage calculations. Um, don't forget that I have been doing videos to kind of show you guys as far as for the math part that'll be on the medical assistant testing, your certified medical assistant test. Remember, there will not be any type of calculators. So you want to make sure that you know the type of formulas that you need to know as far as for passing the um, test for the equation part. Now, there's two different equations that I will be showing you guys. It's going to be one for the oral dose and one is going to be for the IV dose. Whenever you see it as far as for the oral dose, that'll be as far as for any type of like tablespoons or how many... Um, um, how much medication the patient will be getting or whatnot whenever you see the IV dose you'll see the most part it'll be like milliliters or whatnot because that'll be something you can kind of inject into the patient these will be the two different types of formulas for the most part the oral formula is going to be the stock required divided by the stock strength for the IV dose it's going to be the stock required divided by the stock strength times multiply by the volume to stock so make sure that you keep these two in mind. Again, these are two formulas that you'll be needing to know. You'll also be needing to know as far as for how to convert kilograms to pounds. Um, you know, sometimes you may need to know as far as for the Celsius uh, formula, also how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius. You just never know. Again, they're gonna throw in stuff to kind of throw you off. So you wanna make sure that you know as far as for how to do that. So I made sure that I prefer, prepared question one for you. Now, it may already have the um, answer and everything on here for you, but I made sure that I just wanted to show you guys as far as for how to do it. So we're going to talk about it together. Again, these are going to be questions that's similar on the actual test. It's going to show you as far as for how... This is to help you out as far as to tell you how much the me medication the patient will be getting. So this will be the math part. This is the part that I want you guys to kind of make sure that you understand on how to do because... When you don't have that calculator on the test, you're going to be stuck. So you want to make sure that you know. Um, so let's get right into it. Right, so for the first one, it says the MD writes the order for Robitussin AC 100 MG by mouth. Well, you guys can pretty much see it. I'm not even going to read it. All right. So basically right here, if you guys read the question, um, I'll give you a couple of minutes for that. What you're going to be using is the oral dose medication uh, formula. The only reason why you guys see that is because it has the tablespoons on here. That'll be something that you take by mouth. One thing I'd like to do is highlight the medication and the needing and purpose for it. That way you know because with pharmacology, you want to know the type of medications that you're dealing with so you can get yourself familiar with those type of medications. Um, so the top two numbers you're going to be using for this um, uh, situation is going to be 100 mg by mouth and also 100 mg by mouth. The reason why I'm not going to go too much in depth because if you guys look at the other previous videos, I did five other ones before. So I don't want to seem like I'm repeating myself because most people have been keeping up with they're trying to watch the new video. So yeah, it gives you time to kind of read over it yourself and then you go into it. All right, so this, this problem is actually similar to the first problem. You're basically just going to pick out the numbers that you're needed. Okay, so for the first one, you're going to grab that 100, uh, 100 mg of the Robitussin because that's the stock required. That 100 is going to go right here. And then whenever it says pharmacist dispense to you, that'll always be the, the stock strength. So 100 mg will be for the stock strength. The only thing you're looking for is how many tablespoons will you administer per dose. So you're not going to need that 5 ml. That's only that you wouldn't need that if they would ask for how many mls, but they're asking for tablespoons. I'm sorry, teaspoons. So what you're going to do is the 100 divided by 100 since you already have your numbers for the stock required and stock strength. So therefore, that's your answer for that one. Again, remember, there is no calculator on the test, so you want to make sure that you understand that. All right, so for the next one, this will be our next problem. It says on here, MD writes an order for the lidocaine. This type of medication is a local anesthetic medication. This is a medication for numbing. So right here, it says that it's needed for sore throat. That'll be a medication needed for that. It says pharmacist dispenses you 30 mg slash 3 ml. How many ml will you administer? So now that you see that it's the ml, you'll know that it's the formula for the IV dose. So therefore, let's go ahead and move forward. All right, so what you're going to do is they have, you see how they have so many numbers on here to just try to throw you off? But all oh, total, you're going to need a total of three. You need the stock required. So when the MD writes an order for, that's what's re required. You're going to take that 15 and you're going to place that right there. You also have the stock strength. Remember, whenever it says pharmacist dispenses to you, that'll be your stock strength. So you're gonna take that 30 mg, place that right here. You're gonna then divide those two. Make sure that you know as far as for how to do the math part because there will not be a calculator on the test. 15 divided by 30 is gonna give you 0 
therefore that leaves you with the three mls because you're going to be looking for how many mls three mls times the 0 0.5 leaves you with one ml and therefore that's how you get your answer for c i'm only going to be showing you four problems for today you guys i was only able to do four problems today during my work time for today but however i did provide for you this is an equation i learned since like elementary school it's pemdas please excuse my dear aunt sally whenever you're doing anything with math you need to know the order as far as for how to do it because most people will get the wrong answer if they were to times this first and then divide it by this and all that so you need to know exactly what to do please stands for parentheses e stands for exponents exponents is always that smaller number that'll be um on the side of the regular number so basically five to the second power is basically going to be it's not five times ten it's basically 25 five times five okay so basically you have to go in order you can't just start off with multiplication multiplication then take care of parentheses no you have to take care of whatever is in parentheses first if you don't see a problem that has parentheses go ahead and cover that up move to the e if you don't see anything that has exponent go ahead and cover that up move to the m multiplication you see the multiplication does involve that so you're going to always do the multiplication first then you do the division and then you take care of the um uh the addition and then you take care of the um sub subtraction so that's how you do that that's basically how you'll do that always remember that when it comes to equations so yes c will be the answer for uh question seven let's move on to question eight question eight was really tricky you guys question eight was really tricky okay so basically nystatin is basically going to be a medication used whenever it deals with antifungal so this will deal with anything that deals with um infections inside of the mouth the only thing that i say this um question is tricky for you because it tried to throw you off by adding an oral suspension because remember you have two different type of formulas you're going to use the iv dose and the oral dose don't let that confuse you continue reading the problem so that way you know exactly what you're looking for at the end of the day it says how many ml will the administrator per dose will you administer per dose so you want to make sure you pay attention to that type of problem so the type of problems the type of formula you're going to need is the iv because it clearly says ml you're looking for the stock required which is the 25 250,000 units you're going to sit that right there you have the 500,000 units that'll be right here you're going to then divide those two by each other that leaves you with 0 0.5 you're not done yet because you also have to times it by the five milligrams 0 0.5 times the five milligrams it, I'm sorry, five milliliters is going to leave you with 2.5. So therefore, you see these are the the choices. Don't let the that choices. You see 0 0.25. That's not the answer. The answer is 2.5 milliliters. So let's flip to the back. And there you are. You have your answer. 2.5 is going to be the answer for that question. All right. And this one is going to be the last one that I show you guys today. This one was also a tricky one as well. So it says the MD writes an order for a GI cocktail 15 mg by mouth every six hours for 24 hours pharmacy dispenses you 75 mg slash 3 ml how many ml will you administer daily so after seeing the ml you already know that you're going to use the formula dose this problem has a two two parts that you have to do to it so the first thing you're going to want to do first is find out what is the mls so we're going to use this formula to try to find out exactly what that's going to be for you so you have the 150 MO writes an order for 150 mg. You're going to put that right there. The pharmacist dispenses to you 75. You're going to put that 75 right here. 150 divided by 75 leaves you with 2. And what you're going to do with that too, don't forget that on this formula, you have to times it, multiply it by the volume. The volume is 3 ml. So what you're going to do is 2 times the 3 ml leaves you with 6. So therefore, 6 is going to be the last answer that you get as far as for the part 1 answer. All right. Now, what it says is how much you're going to administer daily. Don't forget, six hours for 24 hours, you have to see as far as for that. So how I got my answer was six hours for 24 hours. I thought to myself, they're going to be taking it four times a day. So if you do six times four, that's going to give you 24. So therefore, I had got 24 mLs daily. That's how much that patient is going to get. Because remember, how many hours is in 24 hours? If you think about it, you have to do that that 24 divided by the 6 because they have to take it every 6 hours. And if you're wondering how many times are they going to take it, it's going to be 4 times. But don't let that 4 throw you off because it has to be how many it has to be daily. If it would have said how much is they taking it per hour, that's understandable, but it's saying daily. So that would be 24 ml. Again, for that second part, you have to do the 6 times 4. 
which leaves you with 24. That'll be how much they're going to be taking daily. So that's why I said it's a two part test as far as for this one. So that'll be it as far as for um, the part two for you guys. Uh, again, I have a total of different practice questions and you can always print this out on the website. This will be the website that you go at to print it out. You will just type in the dosage and calculations quiz. They have one that will show you the answers already or they have it where you can fill it out already. What I do is just so we can all follow along, just kind of do it part by part. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to call me or <laughs> call me how I sound. This is YouTube. Don't hesitate to leave me a, um, a comment down below and I'll make sure that I get to it, you guys. But hopefully we're working through this together. Just to show you guys, this is the previous ones that I did. But I'll be sure to leave the link down below for you guys. And we're just going to work through this together every time so we all know exactly what to do. In your meantime, do look up the medication so that way we can all be on one accord as far as for what the patient will be taking, what kind of medication it is. And yeah, we have a total of how many questions? I think it's 25 on here. No, 20 questions. So we're doing it day by day.